I really wanted to say that this, what I think happened today is really a tribute to curiosity-driven basic science. Many of you uh, know the story um, of the discovery of telomerase that happened um, in a single-cell pond-dwelling organism, uh, Tetrahymena, where we were just curious to know how it is uh, that uh, chromosomes can be maintained when we knew that telomeres should shorten every time a cell divides. And so simply by, uh, by going into the laboratory and being curious about this very fundamental question, uh, we made the discovery that there's this enzyme, telomerase, which actually maintains the chromosome ends. Um, we didn't know at the time that there were any particular disease implications. Uh, we were just interested in the, the fundamental questions of uh, cell biology. You know, now there are a number of women in, in medicine and, uh, and, and academic science who are doing really uh, top-notch research, uh, but it is you know, 30 years usually or 25 years before the recognition. So I'm, I'm hoping that it would just be, uh, you know, a lag and that there will be more recognition um, for women in science. Uh, for all cells that have to divide many times, so um, cancer cells are one cell. They have to divide many, many, many times. Uh, they have to be able to maintain uh, their telomeres. And what this enzyme telomerase does is to allow the cells to maintain their telomeres. So cancer cells need it to be able to keep dividing. Normal cells also need it, and in some settings, people don't have enough telomerase, and so they suffer from diseases uh, such as bone marrow failure, where they can't, the cells can't divide um, enough time to be able to um, reestablish all of the blood cells in the body. So there are really two fundamental clinical implications, both the cancer uh, and the tissue renewal uh, problems.